Hello friends, with your NEET PG exams round the corner and fast approaching on this 5th of March, here is what we should do in the last 3 days before the exams. So exams can be like a war, very frightening and it is very easy to get overwhelmed. But it is very important to keep your cool, plan it well in advance and strategize it so that you can reap the maximum benefit out of it. So what should we do in the last 3 days? Point number 1, avoid social media as much as possible. Try to stay away from negative influence as much as possible. Now, in the last three days before the exams, first two days you can devote. So, there are 19 subjects, almost you can say 20 hours, one hour per subject if you give. For final revision of each of the subjects, one hour per subject. So, 10 hours on three days before exam, 10 hours on two days before the exam. And the last final day, keep it for a light revision and try to revise your 20th notebook if you have one or your own collection of the high end facts which I am sure you would have jotted down the things that you struggle with remembering and the things that you know are very very important go through those important points on the last day but try to keep it light do not go overboard and remember the topics we all know that the previous year exams questions are going to be very very important so try to at least go through those topics in the last 72 hours before the exam as much as possible now what should you do in the evening before the exam try to relax your mind and de-stress it as much as possible easier said than done of course try to take a walk in the fresh air that is very very soothing if you like listening to music try to listen to some of your favorite music which is again soothing for many try to talk to your loved ones, your parents and you know you will definitely find comfort in that. So do anything that relaxes you and eat a light meal on the day before exam and try to hit the bed at least 30 minutes to 1 hour before the usual bedtime because you know definitely you might have trouble going to sleep. In the evening before the exam, please keep your bag ready. The things that you need to carry to your examination hall, your admit card, your ID proof if you need that a water bottle. So whatever things you think that you might require, please pack them beforehand on the night before the exam. And please read your exam center very very carefully. So there may be multiple institutions with similar name. Please read the address very very carefully. And at least one or two days before the exam, please check in the Google Maps how much time it is taking from your place and please ensure how you are going to the exam center. So your exam timings are from 9 to 12.30. Make sure you reach the center. You plan to reach the center at least by 8 o'clock because by 8.30 probably they are going to let you in and from 8.45 you are logging in and other things are going to start. When at exam center also, just stay calm and composed and try to think about why you are here today. Try to believe in yourself and the hard work that you have put in. You have to remind yourself that today is going to be a great day and I can handle more than I think I can. And you have to just put in your best without thinking about the results. Now, it is very crucial to have to follow the proper time management in your exam as well. So you have three and a half hours for 200 questions. We all know that. Time yourself such that every 45 minutes, you are able to answer almost 50 questions. That makes 200 questions in three hours. And you have half an hour left also again to go through your answers and if you have any confusion to ponder over it. And try to answer the easier questions first. And once your brain is in the full gear, in the fifth gear, then it will be more easier to approach the difficult questions. Okay? For the questions where you have some confusion, try to eliminate the options one by one. Once you've eliminated two options, automatically your chance of being correct goes to 50%. So it is very important to attempt a reasonably good number of questions. I would say uh, try to attempt at least 180 questions and leave only those questions about which you have no clue whatsoever. And try not to panic. After all, please remind yourself it is an exam. Yes, it is an important exam. It will help you decide which path you move ahead to. But irrespective of that, remember it is not a matter of life and death. You have to put in your best and take it like an exam. So I'm sure if you keep your cool, if you hold your nerves with the hard work that you've put in, with the belief in yourself, you're definitely going to crack it. So all the very best friends and see you on the other side of exam with your wonderful results. God bless you. Subscribe and press the bell icon so you never miss an update from PrepLadder.